So on our calipers, we talked about the parts yesterday, so I'm going to review a little bit here. How do I read this one? It's 2.515 inches. How about this one? Point two seven one. Okay. So that's less than a whole inch. This one? Perfect. One point one four two inches. How's about this one? It's just different. This is where the notch is to read it now. You can see here there's an offset from the jaw to the zero. That should be the same as that offset. Remember we talked yesterday about if you're not sure where to read it, close it down and see what lines up with the zero here. Yeah. How about this one? Why did you say 1.8 and not 1.9? Perfect. It's not quite to the zero yet. Because so that means it hasn't quite made it to the next mark, so it's not quite to the nine yet. This one? Yep, 3.127. Let's have some fun with this one. This one you won't be quizzed on, by the way, but this is a 64th inch caliper. So this is one whole inch. That's all we can really get off of the main scale. This is divided up into sixteenths here. So one, two sixteenths. But you don't really need that because it's in the 64th or built into the main dial here. So this is one eighth. And what I would do is one eighth is how many 64s? Eight. Yep, eight 64s. Eight times eight is sixty-four, so one times eight is eight. So then that makes this one nine. This one is ten. This one's eleven. We're between ten and eleven sixty-fourths. Which one do you say it's closer to? 11. The eleven. So that's one and eleven sixty-fourths. I'm um, in a wood cabinet shop. You would see them. It's about the only place I've ever seen them. So this one, how many whole inches? Zero. None. Zero. Yep. So one half inch is how many 64s? 32. 32. So this is 33, 34, 35. We're between 34 and 35 64s. Which one are we closer to there? 34. So that's 34 64s. Both of those can be divided by 2, so 17 30 seconds. No, it's because I'm on a PowerPoint, so the, the tip works different. That's one and let's see, let's start at the five sixteenths here. Ten thirty seconds, twenty sixty-fourths, right? So this would be twenty-one, twenty-two dead on, isn't it? So twenty-two sixty-fourths is eleven thirty seconds. So those fraction skills are coming back on us, right? We're not going to spend a lot of time with these because, well, they're kind of a pain. This one, how many whole inches? What's that say? Millimeters. This is not an inch, this is metric. So, now, you got to be careful here. Let me point something out. This scale here is in centimeters. That's one centimeter... That's two centimeters. But this is in millimeters. This is in hundredths of a millimeter. So we have to reconcile that. So what we do is we treat this as 20 millimeters instead of two centimeters. So this would be 21, 22, 23, 24. Here we're at the three, which would be 30 millimeters. Are we past the three or before the three? Yeah, we have passed zero recently, so we must have passed that last mark. So that is 30.31 millimeters. So the 30 came from here. This is still 31 here. 
So here we've got, this isn't two, it's 20, so 21, 22, 23. Have we made it to the 24? No, so it's 23.96 centimeters. This one. Careful. Back up. 62.48. This one? Thirty-seven. Very good. So the first biggest, most important thing you have to do with calipers is first figure out are they metric or standard? Metric or standard? Well, there's two ways you can tell. One is it says inch right here. Two, there are two different numbers on this scale. You've got the slightly bigger ones and the slightly smaller ones. That means that's inches and tenths. So this must be an inch or a standard caliper. So how do we read this one? Two point four eight six. Two point four and eighty six. How about this one? First of all, inch or metric? Inch or millimeter. This is millimeter, this is metric. So is this a one? This is a ten, remember. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17.77 7. 7 what? Millimeters. Did I write centimeters? Oh, I did. Thank you. There. I'll fix it now. How about this one? Metric or standard? Metric, because there's only one scale here and it says millimeters here. So, what's this going to read? 46.50. Now, remember, we do need that zero there because of the whole, you know, precision and stuff that we talked about earlier. How about this one? Have we made it to the 9 yet? So 4.8. That is inches. Even though it doesn't say inches or anything here, that is still inches. Because we have two levels of numbers here on the main scale. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. This is, like I said, one of the... The trickier things we do, I mean, it seems easy, but on the quiz, the biggest thing people do is. They, they mix up the decimal placement. They'll put like this, oh, that's 0. 0.8. No, it is what? Oh, it is 9. You're right. Millimeters. I hear you. This one is. Yep, so what's it going to read? Point. 28.28. And this one. Okay, so for Tuesday, you've got that packet. I want you to make sure you do a, read all the calipers in that packet. Now, unfortunately, if I had that packet to make again, I would mix them up more. Unfortunately, they're all inch ones, then all, centimeter, then all millimeter ones, but 